Hi, we're going to talk about how do you eat out in public when you've got food restrictions. Because if you're autoimmune, if you've got a chronic illness, you almost certainly have food restrictions and it matters. It matters when you eat well and it matters when you don't eat well. And uh, so how do you handle that? When we go out to eat, we're not supposed to eat from this huge smorgasbord of everything. If we've got food restrictions, we're just grateful to be able to go out and eat in public and have someone else prep our food for us. So we know a few things on the menu that work for us, and then we eat those, and we enjoy them because we didn't go out for an amazing food. We went out for amazing conversation. We went out to be with our friends and our community, and we want to eat something good, but we're not going to get someone else who's not going through our life and our diet to know exactly what we need to eat. So this is about community. This is about being with people we love and care about. One of the things that happens is when we go out to eat, we get all emotional about it. We get all twisted up about it because, oh my gosh, we're going to be special and we're going to have to do something different from everybody else. And we all know we want to get along and we want to be part of the crowd. That's what peer pressure is. And that's why people learn to drink beer when they're 16. And it tastes this horrible. So we all know what peer pressure is, but we're grown ups now. And we actually have got a bigger agenda here than just fitting in and drinking the same beer. We actually have an agenda of connecting with the people we love and care about. That's what we're going out for. And so that, that fear, that, that dread of being other, of not eating the same thing everybody else eats or not drinking the same thing everybody else drinks. If you can't handle beer because you can't handle gluten, you might be able to have a shot of vodka or you might be able to have a screwdriver or something else. Or you may, not, you may be the designated driver, so you're the one taking care of everybody. But you still get to belong. And you get to belong with integrity instead of getting to belong because you sell yourself out. And if you eat a pizza because everybody else is eating pizza and you know for the next two days you're going to be miserable, uh, it steals some of the joy of being with your friends. So if you want to be with your friends, and you do, and you want to be able to make it be joyful, just be honest about what's going on. And the logistics of this are you know what's on the menu. If it's a place you go a lot, you know what's there. And you don't have to have everything under the sun. You can just eat what's, what's your foods. If you're at a buffet, you're not going to have a bite of everything. You're going to pick what's right for you, what's going to make you feel good, what makes you happy. Same thing's true now. Okay, so, but, and you get to do this in a way that you get to feel good through the whole evening. You get to feel good the next day. You get to enjoy and do go out with your friends more often and more often and more often because it feeds you, it nourishes your soul without costing your body. That's what going out's about. So what about when you really love food? When you really love food, and all of a sudden some of the foods you love the best have been taken away. I have a lot of patients who can't eat cheese or can't eat bread. And so pizza, which is a staple, God, we all love pizza, it goes away. Well, so how do we deal with that? Because all we see with this is what we've lost. And now, what's really going on is if you're a foodie and you appreciate good food, what you realize when you start looking at, oh, if I take away these two foods, wheat and bread, uh, wheat and cheese, my whole diet goes away. Well, you're not really much of a foodie. You're a cheesy and you're a weedy. You think yourself a foodie. Now, if you want to stay healthy, what you've got to do is actually embrace being a foodie. And what that means is you try different things. You try different spices. You flavor them up and you broaden your experience so that you expand what you actually know and love. Instead of getting stuck in a rut of, oh, I only eat these few certain foods. Well, you're not a foodie. Okay, if you embrace and enjoy, go to the spice shop, get stuff you've never tried before, get cookbooks that are from different cultures and try different spicing. It's amazing. And then you, your taste buds get to go, oh my gosh, there's a whole world out there. And then you get to be a real foodie and really appreciate and enjoy what's out there without the pain of eating the same old, same old. One of the best parts about this is you've got an excuse to go look at different restaurants, restaurants you've never been to. You, you get on the internet, you look at their menu, you go, oh, I can try that. I don't even know what that is, but it fits my restrictions. I wonder what that tastes like. Talk to your friends into going to this. Go to it by yourself and find out. But this lets you expand and explore and go and do new things. So a lot of the a lot of the sense of 
shame, loss, fear, misery, all the negative emotions that come along with somebody telling you no. Now, it's not me telling you no, it's your own body telling you no, but when your body tells you no, that that's going to make you worse, well, we all get pissy about this. And it's not okay for us to give things up. And so as we go through this and we figure out what does it really take for us to be healthy, and we decide are we going to put our time and effort into living a life of doing things, or are we going to put our time and effort into living a life of making the choice of the moment and whatever, damn the consequences, we'll just feel as bad as we got to feel. Um, that's the choice we get to make. And when we make the choice to have the vibrant life and to feel good, that's where our lives expand and we actually have a bigger, better life because we've got these restrictions.